The only real experience I have with the Lorax is that every so often, once every couple months, someone will tell me that I kinda, sorta, look like the Onceler. Now, personally, I don't see it, but I get told it enough that I just, I guess, started to accept it as fact. Outside of the character named the Onceler, and I assume the Lorax, I don't really know anything about this movie. I think someone tries to sell oxygen or something like that. And look, that's interesting enough to intrigue me. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. Also, I am filming in a hot room. I apologize that you're probably gonna just see me get progressively sweatier and sweatier. Hello, everybody. Is that the Lorax? Thanks for coming. <clears throat> that's Jake the dog. I speak for the trees. Wait, is it? Oh my god, it's not Jake the Dog. I'm stupid, it's Danny DeVito. Wow. Yeah, it's very obviously Danny DeVito, but man, I never noticed that they do kind of sound similar. But there's more to this story than what's on the page. He's doing like a Midsummer Night's Dream. While I set the He literally, it's literally a Midsummer Night's Dream reference. A city, they say, that was plastic. Fneed. Fneed. Town without nature. Not one living tree. Oh. So what happened to them? Capitalism. But, oh, I was about to be like, oh, but there's like trees there, but they're f fake trees. It's inflatable. <laughs> there's even fake bees. He's, he's deliver it doesn't look like water, it's empty. Oh, it's, that's the oxygen. Okay, I was right, it's O'Hare, oh my God. There's so many things already that I'm paying attention to. Is this our main character? Is this just a common occurrence? Everyone busts down their song at the start of every day? Zac Efron? Is he gonna sing in this too? We've got more than we need, Bill. We've got more than we need. Taylor can... Okay. I guess I just really did know nothing. <laughs> Each one is... Nine. Oh my god, okay, so they have just like destroyed the environment. Oh, but how do they m manufacture the, or did they, where do they, <laughs> so they've got to be like extracting it from some other place, right? So couldn't they just provide it to them for free? I don't know, I mean, well, that's the capitalism comment, isn't it? So much trash. Bro, is he just dead? We don't want to know where- it, oh my god, so much pollution. We don't want to know where it goes, it's fine. Don't tell us, don't let us- don't ruin it. All I want to do is take a swim and glow. Why are they so excited about their concrete jungle? Oh, O'Hare, so this is the- I'm guessing this is the, like, corporate CEO that has somehow monetized air. He looks like a sleaze ball. Okay. Are we, why are they like, why do they love him? Have they been brainwashed or something? Is it just propaganda? Okay, damn. Oh, I was like, why did everyone go? <laughs> it really flies. It would be kind of lame if it didn't, right? Yes. I'm guessing the plot is gonna be that someone, probably this kid, like, d discovers nature somehow. The music. Did your ball land in my backyard again? <laughs> what? No. The model airplane, this time. Cooler, though, to be honest. <laughs> she painted it? Did you... Did you paint this? That's cool. Do you like it? What? Are you kidding? This is amazing! Why does this remind me of Kaladi with a chance of meatballs? <laughs> Trees! Real ones! They used to grow all around here. Those are... These are real trees. The ones painted on the wall. They're real. I know what she's saying. It just... <laughs> the phrasing made me laugh. The touch of their tufts was softer than anything. Even silk. And they smelled like butterfly milk. Like wow! Butterfly? Mean. Yeah, butterfly milk. Is that a thing? Is that milk that butterflies make or milk made out of butterflies? And I don't know which one I dislike more. What I 
want more than anything in the whole world is to see a real living tree. I'm just thinking out loud here. If a guy somehow got you subtle, you'd probably marry him on the spot. I bet that sounds crazy. Does that sound crazy? No, not crazy. <clears throat> not crazy at all. Oh, I was like, why does the grass look so weird? I forgot that'd be fake too. Ew. Ted, honey. Oh, don't yeah, I guess. Do they not even have real food? You either, mom. <sighs> Come on, who could resist? So, <laughs> Love the grandma. Do you happen to know if there's like any place where I could get a real tree? Ted, we already have a tree. It's the latest model. <laughs> yeah, the latest model of tree that, that grows out of the the ground or whatever. You know, like a real tree. This is so surreal. But hold on, she wants to plant one in her backyard. But if she doesn't have like soil. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all just fake grass. She wouldn't be able to plant the tree. You'd rather have some dirty, messy lump of wood that just sticks out of the ground and it does what? I don't even know what it does. What's its purpose? Summer, autumn, winter, and disco. <laughs> That's so depressing. <laughs> what the hell am I watching? <laughs> Let's just say I need a tree. Where would I go? What do I do? Oh, then you know what? You'd need to find the Onceler. Is the Onceler here to like take down the corporate overlords? I'm old and can't even remember to put my teeth in. Who needs teeth for the weird jelly stuff? Would you be a dare and go get them for me? <laughs> sure, she playing her. She's got them in, hasn't she? <laughs> I love her. The Onceler is the man who knows what happened to the trees. You want one? You need to find him. The Onceler? Why did I think the Onceler was a villain? Where can I find him? Ah! Oh my god. Uh, far outside of town. Gotta be terrifying with it, right? <laughs> and no birds ever sing, excepting old crows. Wait, so they know what a bird is? And do they have birds? Wait, outside of town? Hey! Do people not go outside of town, I'm guessing? 15 cents, a nail, and the shell of a great, great, great grandfather snail. <laughs> He'd tell you everything. <laughs> that's, so, that's so cute. And what a weird collection. Bring me 15 cents, a nail, and an old ass snail shell. Because I have use for all of those things. Don't mind me, I'm building my shelter. <laughs> oh god. So he is just allowed to go outside of town. I guess I sort of assumed they'd be blocked in somehow. Hmm? Or is that what this is? This is the wall outside of town. Ah! Oh, that made me jump. Okay, no one's guarding this. And how does he know to go here? <laughs> Has he ever been out here before? Is it just going to be like absolute glorious nature? What we've got for you is something that is going to take O'Hare air. <laughs> They're pitching something to him. Now, Mr. O'Hare, I know what you're thinking. One, I've gotten rich selling people air that's fresher than the sticky stuff outside. Two, and here's the important one. How can I possibly make even more money? <laughs> and like, do you even care to? Well, here goes another lame Saturday. Dude, I don't think Wait, so. Wait, they drink. What? They like inhale it like a... Hey. <laughs> What is... How did they make it do that? Oh, hair purified air. Freshness to go. Please breathe responsibly. Breathe? Is it, it's, is it meant to be like alcohol somehow? You really think people are stupid enough to buy this? I mean, they're stupid enough to buy air. And what's more, when we build a new factory to make the plastic bottles, the air quality's just going to get worse. Oh. Which will make people want our air even more and drive sales where... Through the roof! I hate them all. The more smog in the sky, <laughs> the more people will buy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you just keep making it worse on purpose? Does he too not have to live in the air? No, well, I guess probably not. He just goes outside of town or breathes his own air. Why is he leaving town? No one ever leaves town! Okay, yeah, so it is like quarantined. I just want a tree so that my neighbor will marry me. That's all. I'm not trying to take down like your giant corporate empire. Ew. Okay, well, that's gross. 
I mean, I'm already loving the like anti-capitalist messages we've got going on here. Is it beautiful? Oh, wow, no, that's actually very, very, very depressing. And again, you know where you're going? How do you know where this guy is, man? Huh? Is that the one slot? Whoa! Wow, they're... <laughs> Lethal force to keep people in. They're not evil at all. Is he gonna, like, hit a point where suddenly it's really nice and lush again? Dude, how are you planning on getting back? Or are you just not? Oh god. <laughs> I... I th <laughs> thought he was gonna like fly through the air for a bit and then drop or he'd just comedically make it over. I didn't think he'd just straight- I mean that is what would happen I think. It worked out though. My man's on the other side. I thought he was gonna lose his- I can't even say bike, a, a, a unicycle. <laughs> this dude just heeds no warnings at all. Are those birds? So what do they eat? Where do they live? The street of the lifted Lorac. Bro, I'd be running. Ew, oh god, someone's staring. Oh, that's the one slot. I see the green gloves. Unless... Is the snail saying to turn back? Like, I'm scared for him. And I'm scared for the snail. The door is going to swing open as soon as he touches it. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you the one slur? Oh man, didn't you read the signs? He's like, no, I read nothing. I he did no warnings. I walked past everything. Listen, people say that if someone brings you this it's stuff, the snail stuck in his. About trees. <laughs> no, 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 whoa. <sighs> trees. He's like, you came all this way just to hear about trees. But I didn't think anyone still cared about trees. Well, that's me, the guy who still cares. How does he survive out here? Why well, they're all gone? Wait, what? Because of you. I thought he, oh, did he like help him work out how to sell air or something? And my invention, the Thneed. The Thneed? They could do the job of a thousand. <laughs> all right. That's what Thneed Villa's named after? What, what's the Thneed, bro? It all started a long time. He definitely knows like the corporate overlord guy. I was a young man leaving home. Well, here I go, Mom. Off to change the world with my Thneed. That's Ed Helms. He's in... Uh, why is just everybody in this movie? Your invention ends up a failure instead of a success. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Wow. Nice wheels. Burn. Okay, so his family's just awful. <laughs> Donkey's on his side. You'll see, okay? I I'm gonna prove you all wrong. I was about to say bro looks like a musician heading out with his fedora and I didn't actually even see the guitar on his back and I'm like yeah yeah it's the fedora that makes him look like a musician not the instrument I was searching the globe obsessed with finding the perfect material for my thneed what is a thneed tell me man I mean I guess that's what this story is for I found paradise whoa this looks like the hills that we just saw be all barren. This is the most beautiful place, okay, I have ever seen. Oh, I can't tell if I love them or hate them. They sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. I mean, it's pretty, um, but also mildly scary. I don't know, man. If I went out into the wild and everything was singing at me and like making pleasant noises like that, I'd think I'm on a trip. <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. Love them now. They're like, damn, a guitar. These truffula trees are just so what I need. I'm gonna chop one down and make my knee. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Spatial awareness. <laughs> That's great. What kind of world is this where the woodland creatures just sing with you? And does that mean they're all like gonna die? Why? Oh my god. 
I get that it's like comedic, but also is this dude just like, does he just not care about killing creatures? And are all these creatures not just like, what are you doing, dude? You're almost killing us. Oh, <laughs> they're like, yeah, okay. This dude is trying to murder us. What? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I would hang around dozens of bears, man. God, that dude is gonna choke with how many- <laughs> It's in the water? So, he had an infinite amount of marshmallows. Oh, that sounds like the opposite of a problem, I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute. Excuse me? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You know, feeding junk food to forest animals, that's great. <laughs> this dude sounds like me when I watch stuff. Show me how to get a tree? Because I'd love to hear that one. Oh yes, right after the musical number about the kid who kept interrupting the story and was never heard from again. <laughs> That's is that just a straight up blatant threat. I don't know what a need is, but it apparently needs wood and slash all the fluff at the top of the tree. Uh, they're like, yeah, they're horrified by this. Like, dude, why are you just killing this tree, huh? <laughs> Made him seem like a horror movie villain. <laughs> Little did I know that by chopping down that tree, I had just summoned a mystical creature as old as time itself. A creature? A legendary... A the Lorax? Guardian of the forest. The Lorax. Ah! Coming to protect the forest from a dude making th thneeds. From the stump? Nope, to the stump. <laughs> Fish is like, it's all your fault. I tell you not to touch things all the time. How magic is this world? I'm ready for some Danny DeVito in this movie, y'all. Is this the first time a tree's been cut down like ever? This is so sad. Oh, I'm <laughs> so cute. Is he gonna like go talk to the ones and be like, bro, what's wrong with you? Why'd you do this? From their perspective, is this just like cold blooded murder? Okay, wow, this got very sad very quickly. <laughs> I love them all. They must all be protected. Wow, that's that's what the Lorax is for, actually. Like, look at this guy shaking his ass over the corpse of one of my. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh! Did you chop down this tree? Uh, no. Why would you lie if you don't think there's a problem? Oh my god. I think he did it. Almost killed the little bear. Take your axe and get out. And who are you? <laughs> the poke. I'm the Lorax, guardian of the forest. I speak for the trees. Does he have powers? You just didn't see me magically appear out of that stump. With all the lightning and thunder and stuff. <laughs> you didn't see any of that? No, but that sounds amazing. Can I see some of that? How little attention were you paying, bro? It was like 20 feet away from you. I got one of these. The cutest little guy I ever Bro, like none of the other animals were speaking to you, and this one is clearly like a straight up sentient intelligent being that's communicating with you in English, and you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna treat him like he's a stupid little bug and give him a marshmallow. Yummy, 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 yummy. Okay, I kinda hate him now. Give me that. Mm. He's like, I want it, but screw you. Oh, I'm gonna eat this. But I am highly offended by it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Whoa! What you, what, hey, mustache, will you stop that? I already love the Lorax. Time for you to go, bean pole. Pull right out. Just gonna run right back in. <laughs> Again, he is clearly communicating with you in very complex manners. Why are you treating him like he's nothing? I'm gonna chop down as many trees as I need. Okay? Newsflash. Not going anywhere. Wow. End of story. Well, yeah. Confirmed that I don't like him. 
If you're not <laughs> dramatic anime landing. If you're not gone by the time the sun sets on this valley, all the forces of nature will be unleashed upon you Jesus. and curse you until the end of your days. You have been warned. <laughs> the way he's trying to be all mystical. <laughs> you just teleport it in the house. Can't you teleport out? If you want to hear more, come back tomorrow. Hey, wait, wait! Tomorrow? Whoa. Why does it feel like he's selling him like a DLC? Don't make me come back. Then I guess you don't really want to hear the rest of the story. Is he like, can I just stay here with you, man? I want to hear the story. I just... Nah, you don't have what it takes. Goodbye. Walk it away now. I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. Is he trying to trick him? Do you like not leave? <laughs> and he's like, I hate him for not bringing back a tree. I know what you wish for. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, it's his dream. Okay, I got you, I got you. Perhaps. Go this. <laughs> his form. So weird, dude. Man, it's down bad, though. Ted. Ted. Oh, he's not even... You're kissing the cereal. 13 addictive plastophenes, 50 batamines, and enriched in tar oils. Emptios. What the hell? Ted. Huh? Ted, sir. You're kissing the cereal again, hon. Again? It's a regular occurrence? I gotta run. I gotta go do a uh, thing. So... I'll uh, see you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just realized that means he got back in and no one tracked him. Mm. <gasps> Mom, seriously, every turn? Hey, back off. No. Oh. Okay, family time is over. It is now personal time. <laughs> and I can go outside the city. Oh, okay, dear. Oh, was she, <laughs> was she just trolling? <laughs> I love her, oh my God. Go, huh? Go see him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> She's amazing! She's the best character. God, they are like brick walls. <laughs> he somehow slurped it. I hear you've become interested in trees. What's that all about? Uh, oh, um... Oh my god, literally threatening a little kid. I make a living selling fresh air to people. Trees? Oh, they make it for free. So... When I hear people talking about them, I consider it kind of a threat to my business. Did he like just chop them all down without even using them? He just demolished the trees so they wouldn't be fresh air? Don't go poking around in things you don't understand, or I'll be your worst nightmare. E. Bill. Now, go back to your family game time. Grandma. Wait, how does- Finished your turn. I was about to say, how does he know? <laughs> Please, I have eyes everywhere. Threatening his family. You got a beautiful town here, Ted. Lots of fun stuff to occupy your short attention span. <laughs> Roasted as well. Boom. Roasted. Okay. <laughs> good talk. Really good talk. <laughs> the way they pick him up. He just went straight back to being out side of town didn't even listen the giant corporate conglomerate businessman overlord just threatened him and his family if he didn't do what he asked and the first thing he does is just completely disobey him like i'm not just saying bend to his will permanently but maybe you just go figure out what you're gonna do first why are you so interested in trees anyway why aren't you like other kids break dancing and wearing bell bottoms and playing the donkey kongs oh my god <laughs> that's so it's so uncomfortable i just I just, you know, thought it'd be kind of cool to have one, you know. Uh-huh. It's a girl, isn't it? <laughs> what? Absolutely read him to filth. Oh, how nice to see someone so undeterred by things like reality. <laughs> and threats of people hurting your family. Is this the need? It kind of looks like a mankini. <laughs> How'd he make a bed? How, wh where did all this stuff come from? It wasn't in his little caravan. Uh, <laughs> carrying him out. Man is sleeping like a log. <laughs> where are they taking him though? This is so surreal. Okay, nice and easy. 
Are they trying to drown him? Or just float him down the river? You gotta be kidding me. Could he not just hop off? Ah. Let the fish carry you out. <laughs> like a little teddy bear. Go, go! A little bit more, a little bit more! Oh god, they are gonna get flung, aren't they? Where'd you go? <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh. Just jump! Look how close they are to the rocks! <laughs> oh, now you're... <laughs> Damn, the fish are just... You're dead. We can't do anything. Enjoy perishing. <laughs> What's happening? Where's where am I? Hey! You got trouble! And it's coming up fast! What did they think would happen when they just shoved him in the river to float away? <laughs> Dead, right? He's just gonna die. <laughs> and that, kids, is how I met my maker. <laughs> okay, well there's still gonna be something else, right? Uh, uh oh no. It goes down. No, it don't. It don't go down. Oh! It don't, don't. No, no. What's the plan? What's that even gonna do, man? And also, why do you care about saving? Oh, you just care about saving another bear. Okay. <laughs> Bro's got like an absolute incredible aim. He's just passed out from the stress, or I guess also maybe from the spinal injuries. Yeah. Wake up, wake He's like, whoops, up. killed him. Clear. It, uh, uh, okay, obviously I'm not gonna question it because it's a cartoon. I know that you can't do that by rubbing two things together. What I will say is if you're giving someone an electric shock to restart their heart, maybe, not while they're wet. That's attempted murder. I, I was heading into the light and you pulled me right back and here I am. Oh, so he literally was dying. Wait, in my bed, how did my bed get in? <laughs> it's like, I'm just fixing a problem I started, but that's okay, don't worry. I just wanted to calmly float you away. Look, everyone here needs the trees and you're chopping them down. So we've got a big problem. You're the big problem. Oh, he's so cute. All right, look, I hereby swear that I will never chop down another tree. I promise. Thank you. Is he going to break that promise and that's going to cause things to go crazy? <sighs> oh, I thought it was going to be the bear. <laughs> Fair enough. What are they doing here? Follow up, if I may. What are you doing here? Everyone's just chilling in your house, man. Don't worry about it. Why do you have one of these? You don't even have a mustache. Well, yeah. well, I was about to say they're so disrespectful of his space, but he did the same thing to them, so... And I said I wouldn't chop down any more trees. And I said I was going to keep an eye on you. I'm starving. What's for breakfast? How do you have a fridge? Uh, <laughs> breakfast is overrated. He's just eating whole sticks of butter. That is disgusting. You gotta go into town. He just take off his pants in front of... My knee. Please explain what that is. To make that piece of garbage. Rich, look at that, that one. Garbage. And how did Tree oh. make that? Oh, is it the, the leaves? The weird fluffy stuff? It will change the world as we know it. How? Explain. It's a swimsuit. <laughs> Boo! Mud tracked all over your floor. Right. Finding... It's meant to be like anything you need to fix. But wait, there's more. Thanks to its all-natural microfibers, the thing is super absorbent. So this is just a cloth. Essentially. Nobody's gonna buy that thing. Good to know. He didn't ring it out and he wore it as a scarf. Gross. Everybody needs a need. This is not good marketing. Oh. Fair enough. Well, not fair. Actually, that's pretty mean, but <laughs> I can understand. It is he sounds like he's brainwashing and propagandizing. You need a thneed. Take the thneed. Your life is not complete without a thneed. So then why is it called Thneedville? It's got to be something to do with oh, hair, right? You know what? I I'm done with this thing. Oh, they're heartbroken that you're not going to try to sell them stuff anymore. She's going to love it. 
Okay. That's a weird looking hat though. Oh my gosh, I totally want one. That thing makes me like you more. Oh. <laughs> so blunt. Oh, he didn't even see the people. Wow, that's so sad. Oh no, that's a lot of people. Oh, they're all coming to get their thneeds. Oh god, are they gonna sing about the thneeds? This is weird, man. I didn't really see anyone in Thneedville with a Thneed. Or did they just all settle here? Oh my god. Assaulting that person? This is- this feels threatening. He's like, I'm about to make a bunch of money. All I gotta do is cut down a bajillion trees that I just promised not to ever cut down again. Mom! Hey, it's me! I told you I was gonna be a success! You need to bring the whole family here right now. We're gonna be rich! What? I'm gonna need all the help I can get. To cut down trees. Couldn't he just like pick the stuff off of the trees? Not cut them all down? They painted over her house. We cannot have anyone see even a picture of a tree. Not even a painting, nothing. Cover it up, be gray like the rest of the world. Everything in this is so depressing. What was that? That is family. Yeah, right? It's his mum. Yeah. Hey Chet, check this out. Go on. Oh god. Why is everyone horrible? There's my big suddenly success. Oh, and now she loves him. Oh god, is that a dead creature? You'd make it once, right? Hey, I love this guy. <laughs> god, I feel bad for him because he's just like all he wants is his family's love. But you always said I wouldn't amount to anything, remember? Oh, hush your mouth. I was just trying to motivate you. I abused you in order to motivate you. Ah, uh, you're all here. You all work for me, and that's cool. So. Let's get to work. Is the point that he's gonna have a loophole? He's like, I'm not cutting down the trees. I'm abiding by my promise. My family's cutting down the trees. Does the Lorax not see this coming? Because he knows that he needs them for his th needs. Every time I say that word, I swear to God. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Time out. Back up. Stop. Don't okay. move an inch. I'm glad he caught on. So who invited the giant furry peanut? You call him oh my God. Peanut, Use I'm your magic, dude. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hit a woman. I kind of want to see this fight. Not gonna lie. This is my friend, acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> acquaintance, very good acquaintance. The Lorax. He speaks for the trees. That's right. He's being very lenient. I'm not gonna lie. A tree falls the way it leans. Be careful which way you lean. Damn. He's just like I'm washing my hands of you. Fair enough. He does not really seem open to personal growth right now. We've got us a little problem. We can't cut down trees. See, we're not making needs fast enough. <sighs> harvesting the tough takes too long. Oh, okay. So they were harvesting. Now they just want to chop down. Ah. We could always start chopping down the trees. What? Woo! Now you're thinking that would speed things up. You could speed it up so much easier as well. You have to do what's best for the company and your mama. Well. I guess it couldn't hurt to chop down a few- Yes, it could. You literally promised about this. Oh my god. <laughs> They're about to have so many funerals. No, 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 no. Oh my Stop god, it. how strong he's with one swing. Where do you think you're going? Ah, excuse me, sir. I need to talk with your boss. Oh my god, he just shut her. Oh my god. I'm starting to hate him again. Give me a reason. Really, dude? What a trash bag. You gotta stop. Wow. Have a nice day. Use your magic. I mean, I don't know if he even has. I don't know what his magic would be, but use it. Bad? I'm not bad. I'm the good guy here. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell yourself what you need to, fam. Yeah, bad. Right. Oh, God. We're we going to another song. About how good you are? What a banging beat, god damn. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. I'm just doing what comes na you know the, the things that comes naturally can be 
bad. I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad? Why does this kind of slap? What the hell? She's just what? How do you not know that your mom is not a good person when she's literally just got like a dead creature hanging around her neck, bro? How bad can I possibly be? Is he saying that like a like a challenge? Like, like oh, well, you're calling me bad anyway. Let's find out how bad can I possibly be? As opposed to being like, oh, yeah, I'm not that bad. How bad can I be? The animal that wins got a scratch and fight and claw and bite and punch. Yeah, but you don't like need to do this, you know. La, la, la. You're thinking about eating the Lorax, and you're questioning if you're bad. How bad and, and, and can I be? I'm just following my destiny. How bad and, and, and can I be? I'm just doing- I mean, even though he is quite bad at the moment, makes a good song. The people with the money. People with the money. Make this ever-loving world go round. Oh my god, I wanna like him after, and I hope I do, but right now I hate him. I'll take care of my, 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 my. I mean, at least he caught the Lorax, I guess. Oh, God. I didn't need to see that. <laughs> wow. Okay, so he's just going all in on this. Oh, my... I don't know. I thought he'd do some of this in moderation, not just also become an overlord. Oh, <laughs> that... oh my God. These commentaries are amazing. So he created Needville, I'm guessing. And the PR people are lying. Wow. Oh my god. This is like so, so on point though. How bad can this wow, they are going full on evil with him. Is this present day? No. Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, Lorax movie just making me feel so depressed. That's a, that's a hell of a lot of th needs. How does O'Hare come into this? Happy yet? You feel that hole deep down inside you? Or do you still need more? Damn, getting called out. Why haven't you used your quote unquote powers to stop me? I told you. That's not how it works. Right, I forgot. You're a fraud. Wow. I need you wow. to get out now. What an asshole. Why? Do I make you uncomfortable? Huh. Remind you the promises you made? Oh, slay. You used to be? Absolutely eating. My conscience is clear. Is it? Why are you so defensive? I have done nothing illegal. I've done nothing illegal is not the defense you think it is. And nothing is going to stop me. The last tree, huh? Wow, so the one slit destroyed all the trees. That may stop you. Damn, made that so poignant. He's like, oh, I... I may have fucked up, y'all. wonder what the next million dollar invention's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is where he came up with the idea. But where does he get the air? Or is it not even... It's just fake. It's not even clean air. It's just the same air that they breathe anyway. Son, you have let me down. Why? Did he close the company down? Brett, you are now my favorite child. <sighs> Trash bag, awful mother. Go no contact, bro. You don't need to talk to her ever again. Hey, look, I don't want any trouble. And you won't get any. Thanks to you and your hacking and smog. Where do they go? They can't live here anymore. Oh, it's the first one that got cut down. Hopefully they'll be able to find a better place out there somewhere. How could you not feel awful for doing this, dude? Oh, even the duck. Oh, yes. I don't even feel bad for the ones there at all. I don't know if I meant to. I'm just like, yeah, f him. <laughs> the Lorax should just ditch. Just leave him with his conscience. Oh, is that actually what's going to happen? What? He can fly by yanking his ass? <laughs> That's so strange. So was he only there to try and like convince him to do the right thing, but couldn't just force him to or something? Oh, is that where his house is now? I mean, I don't, still really don't feel bad for him. It is really all your fault. You, 
destroyed everything. Yeah. And each day since the Lorax left, I've sat here regretting everything I've done. Why would he leave that for me? Because unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So he's just like, oh, don't worry, you can save the day. I destroyed the planet. It's your job to fix it. He's not even going to come help. He's just like, here is a snail shell, bro. The last Drupula seed. Oh, it's a seed. It did look like a shell. Nobody cares about trees anymore. Then make them care. Plant the seed in the middle of town where everyone can see. But wouldn't it still take ages to grow and the, the, the big business guys could just like come in and bulldoze it? Okay. Is he actually going to do that or is he just going to plant it in her backyard? I know. Is he the Lorax? They never showed his face, so I'm like suspicious that the once that is the Lorax is the once that is the Lorax. Hey, Audrey! Audrey! Ted? Why would you tell more people about this, though? That just makes it riskier, no? Theodore Wiggins, get down here right now, and uh. I am not kidding with you. Oh, there. Oh, no! Oh. oh, is it just gonna somehow grow there? Mr. O'Hare. I was gonna say, are they in his house? Hello, Ted. Hi. Isn't he clever, Mr. O'Hare? <laughs> he knows his own name and everything. <laughs> Why are you treating him like a dog? You know what I would love right now, Mrs. Wiggins? A delicious cookie. What, do you just have cookies on hand ready just in case? Go ahead and adopt him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a joke and I just was joking. <laughs> She's trying to get rid of I'll her own cookies. kid? That's so uncomfortable. I know you have it, Ted. So How? How does he know? Hand it over. I'm Too sorry. late, it's already growing upstairs. She wouldn't mind us checking your room. No, 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 no! Moody! McGurk! Find the sea! No, you can't go up there! No, guys, this is ridiculous! Stop! It's gonna, like, explode out of the roof. Find it! Ha! <laughs> Man's a maniac. What is going on here? This doesn't involve you! Get back downstairs. Excuse me down there. I don't care who you are, you little crazy baby man. <laughs> Get out of my house now. Oh, damn. It's outrageous. She actually stepped up. My apologies, Ted. You be safe. What? Dude is an unhinged maniac. Where's Grammy? Oh, did she take it? Oh, I love her. I remember you. That's so sweet. Why is it so sad though? She's like, oh, mechanical trees kind of seem mid now once I see this. Audrey. Hey, did you want to... Well, okay. <laughs> the last Truffula seed, and you're going to help me plant it right in the middle of town where everyone can see. Oh, she's so happy, man. I'm right now. Is he going to go for it? And it's not... Uh, <laughs> I knew it. It's going to be awkward. You know what? Let's just go. Let's go. Forget about it. <laughs> I just... I don't know. What? His mum's vibe just switches all the time. She was just ready for a car chase, I guess. They're just barging people off the road, dude. I'm going for it. Wait, she doesn't even have the others in her car. She gone for the jump. Wait, she would just also fall down. Right, I guess she didn't know. Are they gonna bash her off the? Come on! They're gonna just kill his mom? Oh, hello! <gasps> <laughs> Fake out! Oh my god, the soundtrack's cool. <laughs> no, I mean that is. Oh god! What the? What's with the fan? What's? <laughs> is he flying with it? Whoa! You won't get away with this, boy! This is absurd. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, so dude's just dead too. Nobody beats delicious Why is that taking them? They're like, why are you on like a motorbike in an elevator? Okay, de accuracy again. What? Loser! Oh really? Wow, that's smart thinking though, goddamn. Get that seed! 
about to fly again. <laughs> the little seat for him. Hang on! Here we go! I just jump. No one in this movie cares if they live or die. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> I've said it a million times. I love her. How cool is your grandma? Exactly. Facts. Oh. <laughs> Get it, queen. Was the seed bouncing among them? Oh, it's in the bottle. <laughs> what the? Get it unstuck! Oh god. Oh god, this feels like a bad idea. You don't have the guts! <laughs> Dude, his hand's broken though. Oh god. Oh. oh my god. This movie is insane. So they're just gonna plan it here? How, again, how long is it gonna take to grow? Okay, we have to get this in the ground. But where? There's there's no That's what I'm saying. Ah! She can just do anything though. Oh, using it to break the I get ya. See what I tell you. Well at least now everyone's watching, they're gonna see when it grows. I'm looking for a place to plant a tree. A real one. Why would we need a tree? Well, you don't even know why you don't need them. You've never had them. The last thing you want around here is trees. Spewing that sticky, nasty sap all <sighs> over the place. As opposed to our smog. They bring poisonous ants and stinging bees. <gasps> Bro. Ouch. Just shoved his finger into her ice cream. How do you think he's the good guy? They make leaves. I did, you know that, right? Then these leaves, they just fall. Ah, they just fall wherever they want. So these people have like never seen trees, I'm guessing. They produce fresh air. For free. <sighs> I am wounded. <sighs> you have lied. It is not a lie. It's called photosynthesis. <laughs> Come on, she's making that up. <laughs> His movements are so exaggerated, but I kind of love them. That boy has a seat. We need to stop him! Who's with me? Come on! Okay, let's oh my god. They really just have them completely brainwashed. Hey, stop that maniac! Woo. He's a master manipulator though, not gonna lie. He's just gonna... Oh, I thought he was just gonna bulldoze the building. Ted, you're gonna hit the wall! Yeah! Oh, is that the plan? Oh, the... Ah, the outside. I mean, it's one way to prove a point. Wow, these people have just never seen outside. So that they're, they're all just prisoners, man. Who does this kid think he is, huh? I am Ted Wiggins. And I speak for the trees. Oh, he's being like the Lorax now. We can start by planting this. Hell yeah. I mean, I'd be inspired. <laughs> Why do some of them look terrified? He's still glowing. I say we tell this kid what we think about that scene. Come on. We think it's wonderful. You don't know me, but my name's Sai. Why is he singing? But it seems like trees might be worth a try. Wait, could he not say this without saying? <laughs> I guess he just did seem to want to bust in a song at any opportunity before. My name is Dan. And my name's Rose. Our, Our son Wesley, Wesley kind of glows. <laughs> yeah, that's... Seems very concerning. Let it grow, let it grow. You can't reap what you don't sow. That is a hell of a mustache, oh my god. I'm Grammy Norma, I'm old and I've got I'll listen to whatever you say. I remember when trees were everywhere and no one had to pay for air. So I say, let it grow. I love that she just clonked him on the head and no one said anything. Just thwack. Man, public perception shifted so fast. My name's O'Hare, I'm one of you. <laughs> Nobody cares, bro. It could be time to start anew. Is this genuine? I don't really... I will not forgive you, bro. Nah. Oh, okay. I say let it die. Let it die, let it die. <laughs> let it shrivel up and... Come on, who's with me, huh? Catchy. You greeted that man. <laughs> What's the... Oh, even his henchman turning... <laughs> Fair enough. 
Oh, they've put the little circle of rocks around it. That's so sweet. Oh, is the one still gonna be like, yes, it happened. Oh, <laughs> the snail's alive. I mean, his mustache looks like the Lorax. Thank you, Ted. Is the Lorax him? I'm so confused. Why did she just have a watering can, though? Whoa, the time lapse is so cool. Oh, oh, that's a transition. Okay. As the larks come, oh my gosh! I love how he has an age today; just looks the same. <laughs> Done good being home. He's like, look, I even copied your mustache. Oh, that's cute. Wait, is that where the movie's ending? Nice mustache. Ah, <laughs> he said, nice mustache. Oh yeah, the Doctor Seuss quote. That's so cute. Well. Uh, at the end of that, I can safely say that's one of the more bonkers movies that I've ever watched. I loved it though, it was really cute, and also I'm always gonna love a message like that. I think it's really important too, and it's funny because like a lot of this feels like it's dramatized and really exaggerated, but also like, you know, these issues are something that we're dealing with pretty much the same way now, you know? And it's always nice to see a movie like this that highlights what is really at stake. Oh, I'm so on board, you know, I came into this video thinking, yeah, I'll probably like this movie, it seems like a cute movie that everyone everyone's into, but it's just really sweet. It's got so much heart and so much character and it's always going to come across so well for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.